Hey guys! Today, upon popular request, we are going to make one of these. My Octoshot. And these are what you're going to need. An Air Zone Dark Blaster and an Air Zone Triple Shot. But don't be mistaken, the speed loader is not the one you want. The first thing we're going to do is take apart the Dark Blaster. Destruct sequence completed and engaged. Now that we've taken out all the screws, let's take out what we really need. This the turret. Now what we're going to want to do is take this part off. There's a screw right in there that you have to remove first. But you're going to notice that it's glued all along here. The solution to loosening the glue bond is to boil it. Flip that shit. More heat. More heat. More heat. Too much heat. Bring it. What you're going to want to do is just leave it in there for a couple of minutes. Not too long you don't want it to melt. You just want to keep prying it off gently until the glue comes off. You might have to repeat the boiling process a few times. Eventually, after a few more times, the glue will start to loosen. It is pointless to resist. And the star will come right off. Just like that. Now that you've successfully taken the star off of the turret, you can look down the turret, which will make it easier to cut. I've gone ahead and marked off half an inch from the base, all the way around. Along the half inch mark that we've marked off, we're gonna cut it. Now as I'm cutting, you're gonna see that I'm very careful not to go past the center post. And once you have it cut, it should look something like this. The next order of business is cleaning up the turret. Now you're going to want to make sure that you clean up all the wax that's around the turret and inside, especially for the next stage. You're going to notice that on the back of the turret, there's all these little gaps that need to be sealed. We're going to fix those gaps using this, a duotang folder. Since I can't find a way to take this off without cutting it, we're going to use the triple shot turret to create the template for the circle. After you've taken off the triple shot turret, you're going to use the circle part to create a template on the duotang folder. Now that we've traced off the circle, let's cut it out. Now you'll notice that I'm not cutting it out perfectly. We're going to save that till later. Safety first! Don't forget your safety goggles. Now what I'm going to be doing here is dremeling out the center so it'll fit over the rotation mech. Before we glue the duotang cutout to the turret, we need to sand both surfaces. This stage allows for better adhesion. I'm going to be using super glue. At this stage, you're going to want to make sure that you have an even spread around the surface. After I've let it dry for half an hour, I'm going to cut it to fit. Using the existing holes as a guide, we're going to dremel it out for rear loading. Each hole I dremel, I check for dark fit. Here I'm just checking to make sure that all the barrels have just the right fit. This is the stage you really don't want to rush. Be patient. Make sure you drill them out right. Depending on the barreling material that you intend to use, you may or may not have to dremel out the existing barrels in order for them to nest properly. In my case, I'm using half-inch acrylic barrels with a 5 8 OD. If you have to dremel it out like I do, it's best to do it in short bursts, because the plastic tends to melt. And I'm constantly testing for fitting. You want them to fit nice and snug. This is the stage which is going to take the most time and the most patience. Before we secure the barrels to the turret, we have to make sure the rotation mech can't do this. Inside here and here is access to the spring. That's where we're going to put the hot glue. Now that we've made sure that the rotation mech is secure, we can start gooping and securing the barrels. I created the spacer from the leftover turret. And there you go, the first part and the main part of your Octoshot. I'm just going to set it aside to let it cure. Part 2 coming soon. 